34, what is your current situation? One fully involved trailer, also in... I need two companies outside right now. Our radios include many channels from several different agencies. Some of these channels require the user to select a specific tone to transmit and receive. An example of this is CAL FIRE command channels and NIFSI tactical and command channels. These channels include a multiple private line or MPL tone feature. MPL tones allow access to repeaters in specific geographic areas. Selecting the appropriate tone allows for the best transmissions within a specific area. Here's how you do it. First, make sure the radio is unlocked by moving the toggle switch into position B. Now the radio is unlocked and changes can be made. Next, be sure you're on a channel where MPL appears in the lower right corner of the LCD. Only tone protected channels will have the MPL feature. Knowing the correct MPL tone is critical. Obtain the tone for your incident from the incident communications plan or request it from dispatch. On larger incidents, multiple tones may be used. Remember, the tone is specific for your location, so be prepared to tell dispatch where you are. To change the MPL tone, select it by using the corresponding soft key. Now the current tone appears at the top of the screen. Change the tone using the left or right arrows of the four-way navigation button. You can also select a tone by directly entering the tone number using the numeric keypad. This is the best method when you know what the tone number is. Once the desired tone appears in the LCD, press select using the corresponding soft key. The channel now appears in the LCD programmed with the correct MPL tone. But what if you don't have access to the communications plan or you can't reach dispatch? How do you find the correct tone to be able to communicate? Although not widely known, these radios can actually help you in these cases. This will require you to select a tone and then attempt to transmit. After each attempt to transmit, listen for the unique sound. The sound is commonly referred to as squelch tail or kerchunk. It's the sound a repeater makes when it closes. Hearing this sound means you've accessed a repeater. However, this does not mean you selected the correct tone for the incident or what is best for your location. The louder and clearer the squelch tail or kerchunk, the more likely you have selected a repeater closer to your location. Once the correct tone is selected, don't forget to return the toggle switch back to position A or C to lock the radio. Knowing how to select MPL tones is critical to maintaining good radio communications on an incident. Become familiar with channels requiring an MPL tone in selected zones. Practice selecting a tone for these channels. The more you practice, the more confidence you will have selecting the correct MPL tone. Battalion 22 is on scene. Yeah. Bring it further size up, I'll take it over. We're going to put the super scoopers on the uh, Zulu side. I would dig into what that is. It's going up the ridge. Yeah, Camp 11, it's uh, Copter 19. We're inbound and uh, we're going to need some dust to be. 